Do you ever heard of something that seems too good to be true turns out to be true? Like, there is a sugar substitute that tastes like sugar, behaves like sugar when using baking, and chemically speaking, it is sugar but have virtually no calorie and also does not raise blood sugar level. How can that be possible? Let's find out, with people also ask. Hi, I'm Chelsea Lau. Welcome to What People Also Ask, where I search something seemingly obvious and share with you some of this part, aka People Also Ask, which is a feature telling you what other people are searching on Google that relate to your query. Today's keyword is cellulose. We will talk about what is it and some current researches about it. Usually, I will use articles that Google algorithmically extracted to answer our part, but I believe this episode's keyword is related to UML content, aka content that would potentially affect your uh, decisions on health or money. So in this episode, I will also make sure that all medical information mentioned has peer reviewed researches to back it up too. Uh, that being said, you should still consult your doctor before you make any decision in your diet. I'm just a random person on the internet who knows how to Google. So let's start with our first thought. Is Alulo good for you? Google's auto-generated answer is linked to an article titled Is Allulose a Healthy Sweetener? Written by Francisca Sprittler, who is a registered dietitian and certified diabetics educator. This article is published by Healthline, which is an American website providing health information headquartered in San Francisco, California. This website's articles are usually written by medical professionals and are usually backed by peer-reviewed researchers. They do, however, face some controversy concerning their neutrality of some of their pieces in 2018 and 2019. I will include a relevant article in the further reading. That being said, their articles are usually well created and informative and can be a very good starting point for information gathering before you talk to your doctor. Just make sure you actually talk to your doctor before making any medical decision after reading their article. This article compiled a lot of peer review studies regarding LLOs from 2009 and 2015, and there are some summaries of this article. 1. Allulose is a rare sugar with the same chemical formula as fructose. 2. It delivers few calories because the majority of allulose you consume will not be metabolized and will be eliminated in the urine without being used as fuel, according to research published in 2010 on journal Metabolism. 3. Allulose has been shown in animal and human trials to lower blood sugar levels, improve insulin sensitivity, and protect insulin-producing pancreatic beta cells. 4. Allulose may promote fat burning, reduce the risk of fatty liver disease, and help prevent obesity. There is an especially interesting study in 2012, publishing the Journal of Food Science. In this study, obese rats were fed high-fat diet with supplements of either allulose, sucrose, or aristotle for 8 weeks. Like allulose, aristotle provides virtually no calorie and does not raise blood sugars or insulin level. Nevertheless, the rat given allulose gained less belly fat than the rat fat aristotle or sucrose. This suggests allulose might not only be a sugar substitute, it might actually help prevent fat accumulation. However, since most of those studies are based on animal models or small-scale human trials, more high-quality human research is still needed. So here's the question. What is the catch? It's too good to be true. A real sugar tastes like sugar but virtually no calories and at the same time promote fat burning? Are you kidding me? It must have some terrible hidden side effect, isn't it? Right? But let's talk about our next part. How safe is allulose? Google's auto-generated answer is linked to an article titled Is Allulose a Healthful Alternative to Sugar? published by Medical News Today, which is a website that actually has been acquired by Healthline Media since 2016. According to this article, the FDA has approved allulose for use in humans and classified them as grass, aka generally recognized as safe. And based on current study, we actually haven't found any serious side effect yet other than some abdominal discomfort when consuming large quantity. And even this side effect is not toxic and usually temporary. However, more high-quality research to confirm the long-term safety of allulose is still needed. I don't know, maybe one day we will discover allulose skeleton in the closet, but currently there is no evidence that allulose will cause serious side effects when consuming moderately. 
So next question, does Elo bake like sugar? Google's auto-generated answer is linked to an article comparing the differences between erythritol and Elo in the baking process, published by Sweet Logic, which is a U.S. company that specializes in low-carb bakery products. According to this article, erythritol is easy to crystallize and it does not caramelize the way real sugar does. And because erythritol is a sugar alcohol, there will be a strange cooling sensation when you eat it. Allulose does not have the above problem at all, but note that the sweetness of allulose is only 70% of that of sucrose. So to achieve the same sweetness, more allulose need to be added, and it may also increase the volume of the finished product. I searched for some food science researchers on the use of allulose as baking sugar and found some interesting studies. A study published in the Journal of Food Processing and Preservation in 2020 baked 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% allulose pound cake and a 100% sucrose pound cake as control group, and found that as the proportion of allulose increased, the crumb of pound cake caramelized faster. But there's no significant differences in the texture of the five pound cakes. Another study published in the journal LWT in 2021 compared cupcakes made with allulose and sucrose got similar results. Interestingly, this study also found that allulose cake lost water slower in the baking process than sucrose cake, and it usually takes a longer time to bake to achieve the same texture. But at the same time, allulose cake is also easier to burn because it caramelizes faster. So for baker, managing the baking temperature and time will be a challenge when you use sucrose as sugar. But if it is handled well, the taste and texture of the finished product can be very similar to ordinary cakes. Okay, let's recap. Today we learned that allulose is a rare sugar with the same chemical formula as fructose, but it delivers few calories because the majority of those allulose you consume will not be metabolized. So allulose might potentially help lowering blood sugar levels, improving insulin sensitivity, and promote fat burning. It is classified as generally recognized as safe by FDA, and we actually haven't found any serious side effect yet, other than some abdominal discomfort. However, the more high-quality research to confirm the long-term safety of allulose is still needed. Allulose behave very similar to regular sugar when used in baking. However, it tends to caramelize faster and is more likely to burn. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PAA yourself will be a pen. So here's the deal. I will do the reading for you and upload a video compiling some fun PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any PAA report that I compile. So just do it right now. Bye!